This video is brought to you by eToro. Now you may have seen that eToro sponsor a number of Premier League clubs. Now if you don't have time to invest, you can use eToro's copy trader feature, copy top performing investors, so when they make a trade, you make the same trade automatically at no additional cost. Then click the link in the description and get on it right now. Welcome to AFTV. Yes, I've got my boy here now, Broads. Obviously, I played with him alongside him as well, AFTV. Man, I wish, do you know what? I, wish, I don't wish I was playing, but I wish I was just around the team to just let them know, yo, this is not on for Arsenal, bro. This is, the, it's getting, it's getting actually embarrassing now. Obviously, a 4 1 loss to City in the cup. I don't know, what do you take from it today? What do you take from it today, bro? Bro, do you know what? I think you do a good job. I think you'd do a better job, man. Like, yeah. if I'm honest with you, I don't want to come too hard on the players, yeah? Like, you yeah. people like and kept here who he's trying his best, isn't it? He's been thrown in the deep end. But today, we saw a Lacazette return to the side, you know, starting. I'm glad that he had uh, a start. I'm glad that he got a goal as well. But I feel mm -hmm. like it's done for him. And I think this is a reoccurring theme with some of the players, you know? I feel like they don't really want to play. Um, including Mustafi as well. You know, he doesn't want to sign another contract. Um, today he just didn't seem too bothered. Maybe you need to give him the Mesut treatment as well. Like, I don't want to sound bad man or anything like that, but yeah. just like, uh, the man said he don't even want to play for him. You know what I'm trying to I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I can't believe, I can't believe he's fired. I was quite surprised him and, um, yeah, him and, him and Glasnack, I can't believe they, they were starting, bro. Like, I, I don't know what it was. I mean, that sounds harsh. I don't know, like you said, I don't want to go too much on players, but I was quite surprised with that selection. Um, obviously, we started we started slow, obviously conceding straight away. I mean, it's a running theme at the moment of, of Arsenal. We, we start slow. Obviously, we kind of got back into it with, the, with scoring, but then from there, obviously, Martinelli come off. The game just kind of changed, bro. It just never looked like we was getting back into it. I mean, it's, it was tough. It was tough, bro. I don't know if you... Don't know if you have to use, what are you thinking about this week though? We've got, we got Chelsea. Confident? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say, like, first things first, get well soon, Martinelli, and hopefully it's not um, anything too serious. Of course, that's been one of our shining lights. He's only come back for, like, one game, you know, and already he's been looking amazing, in it? So hopefully he gets back to fitness soon. Um, Chelsea, I mean, I reckon they're just going to work us, in it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. yeah going to fright us and I feel sorry for Arteta because Arteta like I mean look he picks the team and whatnot and he is to blame to some degree but I feel like maybe the board should have backed him a little bit more financially um during the window because all right dragging out that Thomas party transfer wasn't really good but we needed um our as well we needed quite a few players in it if you think about it Man City basically played their B team or half of their B team against us today, yeah, and they were head and shoulders above us. You know, yeah, I mean? bro, yeah, their B team would walk into our our A team. Let's yeah. be real. Come on, Foden was Foden was on source today, bro. Oh, he was, bro. It's a joke. You know what I'm trying to say? So I don't know, man. I think we don't have the personnel, and I don't want to be getting onto players too much, but they're probably not good enough, man. It hurts me to even say that. You know yeah, you're, I mean? you're, you're being mad polite, bro. I, I know I'm. Not, I'm not one to ever jump like jump on players back. Like I, I get it. I, I get like the pressures of the fans, and I get obviously it was mentioned before uh, before the game today um, by the, uh, by Mike, Mika Richards about um, AFTV and the fans haven't given the players pressure. But oh, like they're just what are you saying? They're not. They aren't. They're not good enough right now for for the Arsenal badge. I'm not saying they're not good enough to be Premier League foot footballers, but or um, um, yeah, professionals. But right now. For the Arsenal badge, for what I remember Arsenal as, they're just not good enough to, right now to represent the club. Um, but I mean, I want to know as well from you. I don't know what right now are you Arteta in, are you Arteta out? Like, what's your thoughts on the manager? If you don't want to go to the players, I'm going to have to move to the manager. Where do you stand? Look, I'll talk about the players all day in it, do you know what I mean? But obviously, coming from our point of view, and I know you've got a football history as well, mm. you know what it's like, innit? Like, mm. sometimes things are not really working for you. Um, you know, sometimes you don't understand what's going on. But then again, we're young. And some of the senior players, you know, the, the guys that have been doing this for 10, 15 years, I feel like we need to see more from them. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm hearing too many stories about, oh, um, 
this player doesn't get along with Arteta, this player's not really doing this. And, you know, I can't lie here. Yeah? If I was in that change room today, I'd want to scrap some of these guys, bro. I can't yeah, lie to you. Like, obviously, say no to Valence, guys, innit? You know what I mean? We're in a public domain, but... <laughs> but, you know, you know this happens in change room, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. I think, raw like, man, them are trying to work it out and, you know, trying to move forward. But I don't think this is happening. I think people are just chilling, man. They're collecting their check and they're chilling. So, look, am I Arteta in or out? I've been sitting on the fence, innit? But I think yes, this, fence, this fence is going to break, fam, because my man is not really doing nothing about it. Um, look, Arteta... What he is to be blamed for is probably his team selection, yeah? Sometimes starting the wrong players, not playing the right players, um, tactical deficiencies as well. You know, I don't think this job is probably for him at this moment in time. This is a very big job. And from what I've seen, Arteta's the only person who has actually gone straight to a big club. If you look mm. at the Lampards... Um, even the Roonies right now, they've all kind of applied their trade somewhere else. Yeah, even Vieira, um, they've all gone to different different clubs, smaller clubs, mm -hmm. learned their craft, made their mistakes, and come to a big club. You know, but Arteta's gone straight into the deep end. He's not been backed financially enough. So, I mean, I'll say Arteta in for now, but I think the board really do need to help him if he does make it to um, the January window. I think they really need to help him. They really need to invest, man. And I'm not talking no little 50 million and all of that. I'm talking 100, 150 million, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. You've got to splash that cash now, man, because this team needs help, innit? No disrespect to nobody in the team, but this team needs help, bro. This video is brought to you by eToro. Now, you may have seen that eToro sponsor a number of Premier League clubs, and you might be wondering, who are they? Well, eToro is a global investment platform with over 16 million registered users, which offers everything from stocks, currencies and commodities to cryptos like Bitcoin. Now, if you don't have time to invest, eToro is perfect. You can use eToro's copy trader feature, copy top performing investors, so when they make a trade, you make the same trade automatically at no additional cost. So if you're looking to start investing and you want to find out more about eToro, then click the link in the description and get on it right now. Robbie here from AFTV. We've just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels, over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.